In today's video, I'm going to be showing you why the Void World inside a Piss Simulator 99 is super OP and you haven't even realized why. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss out at the best ways to get OP inside a Piss Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your Roblox username uh, for a chance to win the huge pet. And with that, good luck. All right, so here we go. We are right now in the void hub and you know need to be a rebirth day to be able to even actually get here but as you can see we got what the prison world we got the obby world and we got the hack world now each of these three areas have their own pretty much specific currency uh while they all do share you know the this currency right here like coins um you know actually i just realized that there's a new currency here but yeah they all share that with the eggs but they all have their like specific currency for like chests and huge pets so the prison world has like the prison keys the obby world has the seashells and the hacker world has the hacker keys which are currently uh part of the new clan battle which uh yeah we're on my clan is not doing well only 900 place if you want to join and you are going to donate at least one percent uh, make sure to uh, let me know in the comments down below and so as you can see since they each have their own specific currency you might think that you you can only get the currency within the specified worlds like you can only get the seashells from the obby world you can only get the prison keys from the prison world or like the only the hacker keys from the hack world but if you thought so you'd be wrong because actually you can pretty much collect any of the three currencies inside of just one area so as you can see if i'm just in the hacker world i'll just go into this one this is the newest world so far dropped in a update 15 uh, and i just died i'm not sure why i think they just uh, messed up the spawn right there but as you can see i'm right now grinding this best area and you can pretty much collect anything you can collect either prison keys hacker keys or seashells it doesn't matter pretty much the uh, loadout is like the same for all three areas like i made videos on them covering them if you want to check them out just type my channel name and then just pretty much whichever our currency you want to collect whether it's seashells prison keys or the hacker keys and so yeah you can pretty much collect any of the three currencies in here although keep in mind that the currency you are grinding it's like the area like in this area it's like for the uh, hacker key you are going to get way more hacker keys than the other two currencies so keep that in mind so if you want to grind seashells like we're only focusing on seashells you just want to go to the summer world or like the obby world i don't know i forgot what it's called but if you want to collect it like let's say the hacker keys which is probably what most of you want to collect right now for the clan battles then i do definitely recommend to just stay in the hacker world because as i mentioned in my previous video the hacker world is going to actually be the best world to even collect these hacker keys and what's great about this is that if you're just grinding you know let's, let's say hacker keys you are going to pretty much passively get prison keys or seashells so then after like you know let's say you just finished grinding like let's say the hacker keys then you're like okay i'm gonna go and open up the uh the, the hacker chest and then try to get a huge pet but if you don't get a huge pet then you can just go use up the prison keys or like the golden prison keys that you actually you know acquired from here and if you don't get that you can always just go and get the seashells which i have, I have like over 2000 so i think i gotta you know go and actually uh be able, like to like use a machine on that and speaking of which if you want to know the best way to collect hacker keys to both increase your clan points inside of your clan or try to get the huge hacker axolotl make sure to check out this video right here 